In today's video, we're going to be looking on how to bring the Launchpad feature from macOS 10.7 Lion to your Mac. Okay, so if you guys don't know, there was a keynote a few months ago talking about the new macOS 10.7 Lion, which is going to be released sometime this summer. And in that keynote, they showed a couple of different features from the new macOS, and one of them was called Launchpad. What Launchpad is, is basically it is a feature which is going to bring sort of an iPad-style browsing to your computer, where you can go ahead and browse all of your apps at once in sort of a single kind of Launchpad, hence the name. So, this feature is currently not available because because Mac OS 10.7 is not released to the public yet. But however, I'm going to be showing you guys an application that will pretty much mimic what Launchpad is supposed to do. So the application is called Quick Pick. It rounds around $10 in the Mac App Store, but it is well worth the buy if you ask me. I do think it could be worth like $3, but you got to get the developers some cut. Now, I did do a video like this uh, a few days ago or a few weeks ago, depending on when I post this video, and it was about how to add desktop shortcuts to your dashboard, such as this right here. Well, this is going to basically be bringing a sort of launchpad clone. As you see, if I launch it up, it looks like this. So anyway, the application is called Quick Pick. Now, Quick Pick is a application that you can download from this website right here, or you can go ahead and download it from the Mac App Store. So to go ahead and download it, all you need to do is make sure you're on the newest version of Mac OS X, which is 10.6.6, then go up and click the Apple, go to App Store, and then once you're in the App Store, go to the search field and type in Quick Pick. And then it should be this first result, which is right here. Now, as you can see, I already have mine installed, but however, it should say a price of $10. So just go ahead and pay for it with a price of $10 via credit card or iTunes gift card. As you can see here, mine's already installed. The price, the full price of it is around $9.99. Once you have it installed, it should appear in your dock. As you see here, I have Quick Pick. If I go ahead and launch it up, it should look like this. Now, once you first launch it up, it won't have all of your shortcuts right here, but this is what it is. This is what it looks like once you have all of your shortcuts launched up. So as you see here, I have all of my shortcuts over here, and I can launch them straight from here without having to go ahead into my applications folder. And you can not only drag in shortcuts, but you can also drag, drag in folders. So here's my GFX folder. I load, I load that up. It comes up with this and everything can be controlled via keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to show you basically the basic layout of this. So first thing we need to do is we need to explain the preferences. So if I go to Quick Pick and I go to Preferences, here are the Quick Pick preferences. So you can choose the global hotkey. In this case, I have the escape key set to mine. You can set it to a screen quarter so you can drag your thing to the screen and it will show Quick Pick. You can animate show and hide. You can click on the page background to hide and you can go ahead and choose to show it in the dock or show it in the menu bar. Then here you can choose the display where you can choose the size of the icons, the size of the text and the position of it. And you can choose to show the grid the page names, the application names, file names, file extensions, and finder labels. You can also choose it to snap to a grid, and you can choose the spacing of each one of them. I currently have mine at the default setting for this because it does not really matter to me, and I don't have any preference on this matter. So, as I said before, it has a icon for the menu bar. So if we go to the icon in the menu bar, it looks like this right here. If we go ahead and click on it, you can choose show and it will bring up quick pick. You can go here and choose pages, which will show your pages. You can create a new page from here, or you can go to the one with your home and it will show all of the shortcuts that are in that current page. So you could be browsing the web and you want to launch something up. And instead of launching up this, you can just go to the menu bar and you can launch it straight from the menu bar. There are all your shortcuts. Now you also have the help, preferences, and quit buttons from right here. And that's pretty much it for the menu bar icon. And you can also access all of these options from the icon in the dock. So if I right click the icon in the dock, go to options, here are the basic options. And if I go to home, it will show everything that is in your page. And if you have more than one page, more than one page will show up. So. Now I'm going to show you how to go ahead and drag and drop some items in. So to drag and drop an item in, we just need to go to a folder. So let's say I'm going to go to my utilities folder, and I'm going to choose grab. I just click it and drag it onto the icon in the dock down here, let go, and then it will launch up. And as you see here, it will appear right here. Just drag it down, and then there's, whoops, 
then there's grab as you can see here you can move it around it will snap to a grid and whenever you hover over an icon it will have this little hover feature right here now as you see here up at the top it says home which means that this is my home space. If I go here and click on this plus button right here, it will show you some new pages. So if I go to page, new page, and I'm going to name this, uh, let's say, whoops, page two. And on page two, I'm going to take an app. So let's say I go to, whoops, keep on closing out of stuff. Let's say I choose grab. I will go up here and drag it to space two. And it should be in page two. So if I go to, oops, go to page one, and I can also go to page two. Just hold on a second. And as you see here, it's in page two. So I can scroll back and forth. I can scroll with the arrow key. So here's all my apps from the first page, and here's my one app in the second page. You can go ahead and scroll around, scroll around. If you want to delete an app, you can just right click on it. You can choose to remove the icon, reveal in the finder, or give it a label. I'm going to choose to remove the icon because I don't need it right now. And I'm going to, for the sake of time, delete this page by clicking the X button because I only need one page. And that's pretty much it. That is the application Quick Pick. It is a Mac OS X uh, launchpad clone which you can use to basically simulate the launchpad feature in the upcoming Mac OS 10.7. It is not a free app. It's relatively on the expensive side if you're me. It will it'll cost you around $10 at the Apple App Store. So anyway, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you guys want the link to Quick Pick from the actual website, I'll put that in the description as well. Feel free to go ahead and leave any suggestions for any videos you want to see me do in the future in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching and goodbye.